Hi everyone, I'm John from Looker. If you're watching this video, you've probably already been viewing looks and dashboards that other people in your company have created. Let's talk about how to save your own looks and the reasons you might want to create them. Looks are useful for saving single query reports, especially if we want to set up an alert or schedule data deliveries using certain formats and destination types. We can also create and maintain a look in one place and then link to it from multiple different dashboards. To save a look, we'll first start with an explore of interest. Here we've used an explore called order items to find a count of orders broken out by user's age tier and date over the past 10 days. We've also created a nice visualization which can be seen here. Let's say we already know we're going to want this report in two different dashboards, one focused on marketing and one about purchasing. If we want to control future changes from a single place, it probably makes sense to save it as a look first. Here's how we can create the look. We'll click the gear menu in the upper right of the Explorer and then choose Save as a Look. In the dialog box, we'll give the look a title. Then it's good to give it a description. The description will show in a list of looks to help users understand the purpose of this look. Next, we need to choose where we want the look to live. In the left pane, we can select a top level folder and in the right pane, choose its subfolders. In this case, we're not ready to make this look public, so let's save it to our personal folder, which is already selected. Clicking Save will simply save the look and close the dialog box. Instead, let's click Save and View Look to view the newly saved look. Next, imagine that after showing this look to the marketing and purchasing teams, they both agreed they typically want to see data from the past 14 days instead of the past 10 days. Well, that's good information to know, Let's change the default to 14 days. First, we'll click Edit in the upper right. Now in edit mode, we can change the query and adjust the looks fields, filters, visualization, and so forth. We just need to change the default created date to 14 days, so let's go ahead and do that here. Let's run the query to see the results. Yes, that's what we wanted. We can also change the title of the look by simply clicking the title and renaming it. For now, we're done making changes, so we'll click Save. Now in the pane on the right, we can also add or edit the look's description by clicking Edit. Since we changed our filter value to the past 14 days, let's go ahead and edit this description and remove the line about filtering results. That way, if we were to change the filter again, we wouldn't have to change the description to match. By the way, we can also take other actions using the Looks gear menu. For example, if we created a look with the intention of scheduling it or creating an alert, we could do that through the same menu. Check out our videos on scheduling and alerts for more information on these topics. And we can delete a look entirely by clicking Move to Trash. Thanks for watching. In this video, we showed how to create and edit our own saved reports, including editing the underlying query, plus changing the title and giving it a description.